guys this is the fifth time that i've tried filming this i live next to disney and it's 10 o'clock at night right now and the disney fireworks are going off like crazy and every time I get to the good point of the video, it's like boom, 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 boom. So today's video is going to be a Mother's Day gift basket video. And I'm really excited to show this to you guys because I love making gift baskets so much. Rather than just buying somebody one particular thing, unless I know that they really want that. If they don't ask for something in particular or they're not expecting a gift, I love to just do a gift basket. So cute. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that today. I showed you guys a couple weeks ago how I did the girls Easter baskets and you guys love that. You blew that video up. So I was like, let's make another one. First off, you got to choose a good basket. Okay. You want to choose one that the person is going to reuse in their home for multiple things. So I bought this one from home goods and I feel like you can't go wrong with a home goods basket. It's deep, it can hold a lot of things, it's a neutral color, it's woven, it's really good. So I got this one for $12 on HomeGoods and I'm sure you can find something very similar on Amazon. Okay, so something that I feel like you cannot go wrong with getting a mother is a candle. So this is mine and my mother-in-law's favorite scented candle. So I got her one of these. Oh my gosh, guys. Cozy linen and a nectarine. You gotta try it, it smells so good. If the person that you're buying for is not a candle lover, they don't like to burn candles in their home, get them a little thing of essential oils because I almost did that too. We're essential oil lovers as well and um, that will work in a little basket. And while we're on the self-care stuff, is a candle self-care? I think it can be, yeah, because like aromatherapy, right? So I bought this, Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt um, Mineral Soak. So if you guys haven't tried the Dr. Teal's Soak, I think everybody loves the Dr. Teal's, but it is so good. I actually have a funny story, not that y'all asked, but funny story time. So when I was pregnant with Brooklyn, I love hot baths so much and I would take an Epsom salt bath like literally every single night. I don't know why, but never look to see how much you're actually supposed to add to the bathtub and I would just get like a cup and just like scoop it in and just drop it all in the bathtub. I ended up getting extremely, extremely sick. I mean, over like days of just doing nothing but throwing up, like itching everywhere. Anyway, I was trying to like keep it calm and wait until I had a doctor's appointment coming up, but I could not wait anymore because I was just so sick. Like my body was aching so bad. So I went to the emergency room and I ended up having, um, I literally think it's called Epsom salt poisoning. I think is what they called it. And it's whenever you have too much Epsom salt in your bathtub, like you're not supposed to have that much. And I literally, like my body was like, felt like it was poison and was trying to like, <laughs> anyway, not that anyone asked for that story time, but I just thought I would share. If you're making this basket for someone who is not a bath lover, you can get shower bombs as well. They go on the bottom of the shower and they work just like a bath bomb, but for the shower. And you gotta get gift wrap tissue paper because you gotta make it look presentable. I went ahead and picked up this Rose Bay. I've never had this brand, but it looks so cute. So I was like, the idea here is to get them a good drink that they will like. So the person that I'm making this basket for actually doesn't drink wine, but I do. So I bought it for myself and I just thought that I would show you guys. So if you're making your basket for someone who does enjoy it, that is really cute. I got it at Target. Um, but if they don't like wine, you can get them, you know, their favorite seltzer or their favorite soda or something like that. And I feel like it just makes the basket look nice. I also wanted to add a special treat in the basket. So a drink next to the special treat, it looks so aesthetic, looks so nice. So I add that towards the front. I wanted to do a caramel apple from Disney for the person I'm making this for, but I haven't been to Disney yet to downtown to get one so that is on the list of things to do okay so another thing that i thought would be really cute for the basket would be to do a cookbook not a cookbook i'm sorry well a cookbook would be a cute idea actually that would be a really good idea to include in here i have some some of my favorite cookbooks that i display in my kitchen with a uh why can i not talk today guys i know why because it's super late at night but 
um, cookbooks with a plant on top. That is really cute to keep in your kitchen for someone who loves cookbooks or just wants it displayed, likes the aesthetic of it, I guess I should say. So I really wanted to do a recipe book in this basket and I could not find a cute recipe book. I couldn't find one online that would be here in time and honestly, I wasn't in love with any of them. I found one at Target from the hearth and hand section, but it was really ugly. I'm not gonna lie, it was not cute. So I ended up finding this leather paper notepad book and I thought it was so cute. It's hard and it has um, gold on the side. The paper is pretty thick and I thought that this could use, could be a recipe book. Um, it doesn't have like the tabs where you would do like, you know, appetizers or entrees or sides, but I thought it would be really cute regardless. Okay, I'm back. So I had to go get this one gift that I wanted to show you guys because I use it every day. So I had to go wash it real quick so I could show you. But these glass cups are so adorable. I cannot even handle it. I love cups. If you are making the basket for someone who loves cups, they have really cute Ello ones at Target, I saw that. But my sister has a company, it's called shopolliandco.com and I'll leave it in the description box. She makes custom t-shirts, which I'm about to show you one of the t-shirts that I'm gonna put in the basket. She also just launched her glassware. She has like eight different designs, I do believe. It might be six different designs six or eight but this is one of them this is one she gifted me and it just says mama 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 and then she has one that says mama that's squared and she has a ton of different designs but i think this is so cute to include in a basket it has the bamboo lid and the cute little straw so i'm gonna leave a tiktok here to show you a couple of her shirts her mama shirts that she launched onto her website because i feel like a graphic tee is just the perfect thing to gift someone so she has these custom ones and this one just says mama across and she did it in a 4th of July theme since the 4th of July is coming up but she has a ton of different themes and she also creates custom tees so if you are looking for something in particular a design and you don't see it on a website just shoot her a message or a chat with me um, icon on the bottom and I'm sure she can make it for you. Another gift idea for someone who is a jewelry lover, my friend has a small business that's called With Love From Katie, I'll link it, but she has these gorgeous necklaces. I think she also has some earrings on her site, but I particularly love these initial necklaces. I have a B for both of my girls, so that's a cute idea. If you have a mother who just has one child, maybe the initial of that child or their initial. Either way, super cute idea. So last Mother's Day, Hunter bought me these Bear Paw hot pink slippers and they are my absolute favorite. I wear these in my robe that he bought me as well every single morning and I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I wear them every single morning. They are a bit more pricier so if you get something like this in the robe, you might not really do it um, with all the other things that I'm mentioning in a basket, it might just be like that itself. The slippers in a robe would be a very cute Mother's Day gift. So I just wanted to throw that out there for anyone who's looking for something like that. I highly, highly recommend the Bear Paw brand. So the last thing that I'm gonna mention is a bag, a super cute bag. So you can get a little fanny pack that will fit adorable in a little basket, or you can get a small satchel, a tote, some type of bag. I love bags. Even a pencil pouch or something along the lines of that would be super cute in a basket. How many times have I said super cute in this video? <laughs> I'm like, I think 15 or 20. I've been counting in my head and I still say it for some reason. But I bought this mama bag. This is what I consider my work bag. It holds a laptop. It has a pocket for a laptop and I hold all my notebooks and my planners and my agenda in here. But I bought this from a Facebook ad and I cannot remember what website it was that I bought it from, but I actually saw that typically Blush carries the same exact bag. So I think it's $58 on their webpage, on their website. 
So that is it with my little gift guide and my ideas for a Mother's Day basket. I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like when I put it together. I think it looks really adorable and it has all the things that a mama would love. If I'm forgetting something and you think of something that you're like, that would be a really good gift to go in a basket, please let me know in the comments because like I said, I love making basket gifts for people and i'm always searching for new ideas so i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye